It's been years since Apple gave real attention to its smallest tablet, the iPad Mini. For some, it's a nostalgic reminder of when compact design met raw power. And for others, it's that one device Apple always seemed to overlook. But now, deep within Apple's silent walls in Cupertino, something is shifting. Leaks, whispers, and insider reports all point to a long-awaited return. The iPad Mini 8, and it might just be the comeback story Apple didn't know it needed. The world has moved on to bigger screens, foldable phones, and AI-powered laptops, but the iPad Mini remains something else, a cult classic. It's the device people throw in their bag before a flight, the perfect note-taker for students, and the go-to digital sketchpad for creators who don't need a full-sized iPad Pro. Yet, with every passing generation, Apple's smallest iPad has seemed to lag behind. Fans have waited for something bold, a real upgrade, not just another recycled chip or cosmetic tweak. But now, the story might be different, or maybe not. Because while the leaks about the iPad Mini 8 sound exciting, mentions of an A19 Pro chip, possible OLED display, and promotion finally coming to the lineup, many tech insiders say Apple's plan might still fall short of what fans truly want. Let's dive in because this story isn't just about a new iPad. It's about whether Apple can still surprise us, or if the Mini is destined to remain the underdog of the iPad family. The Return of the Forgotten iPad When Apple first launched the iPad Mini, it felt revolutionary, a tablet that balanced power and portability in one elegant frame. But over the years, while the iPad Air and iPad Pro evolved dramatically, the Mini seemed trapped in time. It got new chips, sure, but not the kind of innovation Apple fans expected. Now, in 2025, new leaks suggest Apple is preparing to breathe life into the series again. Early reports point to the iPad Mini 8 arriving in late 2026, following Apple's quiet two-year update cycle. The new model, if sources are right, will carry a blend of subtle design tweaks and long-overdue display upgrades. But before you get too excited, there's a catch, because the iPad Mini 8 might once again walk the fine line between potential and limitation. A 19 Pro chip, a familiar power in a smaller body. Let's start with the heart of the machine, the 19 Pro chip. This is expected to be the same powerhouse that will drive the iPhone 17 Pro. On paper, it's impressive, blazing fast CPU performance, improved GPU for gaming, and a new neural engine design for Apple intelligence features. But here's the twist. That same strength might also highlight the Mini's biggest weakness. You see, many Apple fans hope this would finally be the generation where the Mini gets a real M-series chip. Maybe the M4, or even the upcoming M5 that powers Apple's latest iPad Pro models. But thermal and size constraints make that dream almost impossible. The iPad Mini simply doesn't have the physical room or cooling capacity for the heat an M-series chip generates. Unless Apple suddenly decides to make it thicker, which history says it won't, the A19 Pro will be the realistic choice. That means the iPad Mini 8 will be powerful, yes, but not revolutionary. It'll outperform most Android tablets, but when compared to the iPad Air M2 or iPad Pro M4, it will still sit firmly in the middle ground. Not budget, not pro, just mini. OLED and promotion. The dream finally comes true? If there's one rumor that's ignited real excitement, it's the display. For years, Apple fans have begged for promotion on the iPad mini. That smooth 120 hertz refresh rate that makes scrolling, drawing, and gaming feel buttery soft. And this time, the wait might finally pay off. Multiple sources claim that Apple is seriously considering giving the iPad Mini 8 an OLED display paired with promotion. Sounds perfect, right? Not so fast. Apple's design team is reportedly debating whether including OLED panels in a smaller, non-pro device makes financial sense. The cost of OLED manufacturing, especially for smaller panels, remains high, and Apple has always positioned the Mini as a mid-tier device. There's a strong possibility Apple reserves true OLED for the iPad Pro and maybe the next-gen iPad Air, while the Mini gets a hybrid LCD panel with adaptive refresh. Still, if the stars align, 
This could be the first time an iPad mini delivers that fluid visual experience artists in GA. MERS have been waiting for. Imagine sketching on a 120 Hz OLED panel powered by the A19 Pro. That's not just an upgrade. That's an entirely new feeling. Design, stuck or subtly refined. If you were hoping for a redesigned iPad Mini 8 with thinner bezels, new camera placement, or a floating style keyboard case, temper those expectations. Apple seems determined to stretch the current design for one more generation. The same rounded edges, the same aluminum unibody, and the same general form factor are expected to stay. Why? Because Apple knows the Mini's biggest selling point isn't aesthetics, it's portability. The one silver lining is that insiders mention subtle refinements, improved speaker tuning, stronger body rigidity, and possibly a new color lineup, starlight, midnight, and a rumored deep red finish. But overall, don't expect a radical redesign. This update will be evolutionary, not revolutionary. The hidden upgrades, N1 and C1X chips. Here's where Apple might surprise us in quieter ways. The iPad Mini 8 could include two new coprocessors, the N1 Neural Chip and C1X Efficiency Controller. These small chips won't make headlines, but they might redefine the experience. The N1 could enhance on-device AI performance for Apple intelligence, handling tasks like image generation, text summarization, and on-screen Siri contextual help, all without needing the cloud. Meanwhile, the C1X is expected to optimize battery life and manage background app behavior more intelligently. These chips might not sound glamorous, but together they could make the iPad mini feel more responsive, last longer on a charge, and integrate more deeply with iOS 19 and iPadOS 19. AI and Apple Intelligence Integration Now that Apple has entered the AI arms race, the iPad mini 8 is expected to ship with full Apple Intelligence support. That means on-device summarization, generative writing tools, enhanced Siri awareness, and new creative AI features for apps like Notes, Pages, and Mail. Imagine sketching on your iPad mini and asking Siri to colorize your drawing or summarize your notes for you instantly. That's not just convenience. That's a complete workflow shift. However, some analysts warn that AI features may be limited depending on the A19 Pro's efficiency and RAM allocation. Apple may gate certain pro-level AI tools behind M-Series devices. If true, this could once again position the Mini as a semi-upgraded device, capable but not cutting-edge. Battery and thermal management. One of the biggest technical challenges with the iPad Mini has always been balancing power and portability. You can't just throw a massive battery into a small body. And with the A19 Pro's performance potential, Apple has to tread carefully. Leaks suggest the Mini 8 will feature an optimized 22-watt-hour battery, up slightly from the Mini 6. Combined with the C1X coprocessor and adaptive display tech, we could see a modest 15 to 20% improvement in real-world endurance. Charging, however, might finally get faster. Apple could introduce 35W fast charging with a new USB-C port, aligning it with the latest iPad Air and iPad Pro standards. The iPad lineup in 2026, where does the mini fit? To really understand what Apple is doing here, we need to see the bigger picture. By 2026, the iPad lineup is expected to look like this. iPad 11th Gen, entry-level, affordable, education-focused iPad Air M3, the new mainstream choice for everyday users. iPad Pro M5, the flagship creative device with Apple Intelligence. iPad Mini 8 and 19 Pro, the small but mighty middle child. That's the problem. The Mini has always been hard to categorize. It's too expensive to be entry-level and too limited to be pro. Unless Apple markets it differently, Maybe as the ultimate travel iPad or portable AI notebook, it risks fading into the background again. Comparisons iPad Mini 8 versus iPad Air 6. Let's talk about the competition within Apple's own walls. The iPad Air 6, rumored to carry an M3 chip, will easily outperform the Mini 8 in multitasking and creative workloads. The Air will have better heat management, more RAM, and higher sustained performance for pro-level apps. However, 
Where the Mini fights back is portability. It's lighter, easier to handle, and if it truly gets OLED in promotion, it could offer a more premium visual experience than even the Air. Think of it this way. The Air will remain the productivity tablet, while the Mini 8 becomes the personal companion device, a balance of fun and function that no other iPad quite matches. Price and release date, the waiting game. So, when can you actually buy it? If Apple maintains its usual rhythm, the iPad Mini 8 should arrive by late 2026, possibly announced alongside the iPhone 18 lineup or during an October iPad event. Pricing will likely start at $499 for the base 128GB model, creeping up to $549 or even $579 if Apple decides to include OLED. Cellular versions will cost more, of course, possibly reaching $699. Now, you might think, that's expensive for a Mini. But Apple isn't just selling specs anymore. They're selling experience, design, longevity, and integration with the Apple ecosystem. Apple's strategy, playing it safe or playing it smart. Some might say Apple's cautious approach is boring. But from Apple's perspective, it's strategic. The company knows the iPad Mini sells consistently, even without flashy upgrades. It fills a niche for pilots, doctors, note-takers, and travelers who value portability over power. So while fans cry for an M-series revolution, Apple may see no reason to risk overheating or battery issues just to make headlines. Instead, they refine, polish, and extend the life of the form factor, maintaining reliability rather than chasing raw specs. The emotional core, why people still love the Mini. Despite all the criticism, one thing remains true, People love the iPad Mini. It's personal. It's the iPad you use one-handed while reading in bed, the one your kid watches cartoons on during a flight, or the one you slip into a jacket pocket during travel. It doesn't try to replace your laptop. It just makes digital life simpler, smaller, and more human. That's what makes the Mini special. And that's why every new rumor sparks hope, even after years of disappointment. Final thoughts, the comeback or the last chapter. So what's the verdict? The iPad Mini 8 will probably not be a revolution, but it might be the most refined Mini yet. With an A19 Pro chip, possible OLED Plus promotion, improved battery efficiency, and Apple Intelligence integration, it's shaping up to be the sleekest version ever. But it also raises a bigger question. Will this be the Mini's comeback, or its last chapter? If Apple truly wants the iPad Mini to thrive again, it needs to lean into what makes it special, not hold it back. Make it the ultimate portable AI tablet, the creative companion that doesn't compromise. Because the world still needs small devices that think big. Until then, the iPad Mini 8 stands as a symbol of what Apple can do and what it chooses not to. And that, perhaps, is the most Apple thing of all.